how good is Lumina Neo for the noise reduction, especially when it comes to the camera image file from Micro Four Third camera such as Olympus or Panasonic, and then especially even if it's that's old camera such as EM5 Mark One that I'm going to show you right now, uh, and then you had no choice but shooting images at the highest ISO possible, which is 25,600. Now, in my previous videos, I've, st I've shown you the quality of DxO Photo Lab, then on one no noise AI, and also the Topaz Denoise AI, the version 2022, which, in my opinion, for the age, is still today exceptional. I promise you that it did not fail to it did not fail to you know uh, the show promises even if today we have plenty of other tools available in the market even apparently the Lightroom is being fantastic so what I'm going to do is to uh, show you or demonstrate the Luminar Neo uh, Super Sharp, I think, or the name of the extension, I forgot the name of it. I think it calls, hang on a second, I'm going to show you right now, the Noiseless AI. How good is it compares to DxO Photo Lab 7 and On One No Noise AI? So if you want to see the other comparison between the on one no noise AI, especially the, uh, the, the the new version 2024 and the Photolab uh, 7.7, .7, then I, I invite you to look at the previous videos. Now let's get into the demonstration right now. So I'm going to get into my high, higher ISO image and then I'm going to pick the one, the highest ISO file, there you go, the ISO 25600, I'm going to open that, right, and now I am going to get to edit option, generally it's not going to show you immediately the result, so I am going to zoom out quite a bit to make sure that it's reasonably visible and then straight to the point huh? I'm not going to do any kind of crazy stuff such as noise uh, the, the, the enhance or sky or develop uh, just the idea today is to show you how good it is the default noiseless AI for the raw and the super sharp the AI version compares to compares to the on one no noise AI and DxO, which again, I've already made the video, big one, so I really encourage you to go and see it. Here it says the device is the high adjustment for this image, so I'm going to click high. Now, here's the thing. My computer is strong, but not super strong. It does have an NVIDIA graphics card, it's an adequate laptop. I'm recording this video, so it has a double job to do. That being said, um, it might take long. I'm not going to cut to the chase. I'm going to wait uh, in the video. So I either recommend you to skip to the result or see how long it takes with me to understand if it's fast enough as well. It's important because when you have too many high ISO images, uh, if it accumulates plenty of times, then time is money. So there you go, three, two, one, and we are there. And while you are looking at the video, and while waiting, I invite you to go down to the description below and then I try to uh, try to click on the links, affiliate links, that will help me to continue the channel and that will help you to download the trial version of the image and um, and then try it out by yourself. The, surprisingly, actually, it is quite quick, to be honest. I'm very happy about it. Now, my goodness, uh, I have no word because it does not look, in my opinion, good at all. 
still have a lot of uh, a lot of you know it does have details though unlike the on one no noise ai which i'm going to show you uh in a moment um no 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 noise ai in on one 20, 2024 does take away a lot of details here you it does retain the details though but with the cost of plenty of artifacts so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn on the slide okay so if it's zero that's that if it's hundred okay so it seems to me it does have a lot of color noise. it still does have a, a plenty of color noise i'm going to go to the high highest of both so hundred and hundred i go backward you see the automatic version does not give you immediate uh, immediate uh, result you kind of have to play along with the slider and even with that at the hundred it does not give you adequate result it's because earlier if i go backward and then click hide view it they're both at they're 50 and 50 right in on one uh, no noise 2024 the sliders if you look at the video they are i think at 100 or 90 at least so i'm going to manually go all the way to 97 say 100 and the details let's say i don't need any details in my opinion and slowly slide it up to add details you see that it does have kind of strange plasticky feel and maybe a little bit of softness now considering the quality of the image though it does not look sharp so i'm going to add low sharpness just to see exactly how uh, it is going to react especially after a noise after an image with the extreme high noise that has been done noise reduction and you know the idea is to basically you know the rule of thumb is not to add too much sharpness after a heavy noise reduction because it makes the image extremely horrible now thanks to artificial intelligence it shouldn't be the case now we're going to wait just like we did earlier uh, I just cut my hand not too long ago uh, during the barbecue uh, what I was going to say is uh, while waiting I encourage you to go down in the description below and then click on the link if you feel like it and try out the trial versions now I think that's before the noise reduction and after the low noise reduction not the high the low noise reduction so before and after it does have a quite a bit of uh, strange um, artifacts you can see that uh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or I'm just going to let it go overall if I click there I don't know so I'm going to keep it and then without any wasting your time I'm going to just do a slight enhance just a slight enhance just to match the other image and export it to the folder at I think it's 1440 Uh, one four four zero. No. Right, hundred percent resolution. Three hundred. Just to match the other one, file name. Luminar Neo how long i've been recording the image video 10 minutes okay so that not not that long as as before which is very good 
Now I'm going to export it. So I do have a separate noise reduction at the bottom slide. You can see that at the denoise you could go to the luminosity denoise and the color denoise and all this stuff. But I just wanted to see the their AI, the the pro version of them. Uh, how do they work for the money? Because even though I'm not going to actually I'm going to do a side by side first. So that was a previous image and that is after quite adequate in my opinion considering the image quality of the image it did a good job you cannot blame the software for its job and don't forget it the Lumina Neo is done made for automatize your life essentially you drop your image and you click some buttons move some sliders and you got a good image that was the objective of Lumina Neo uh, noise reduction and sharpening just uh, extra in my opinion right i think it's already been exported now time to check side by side where is my image strange i cannot find it where did it export exactly uh give me once again i'm going to go back to export and if I desktop test image oh sorry I think it went to the wrong folder so I'm going to go back to the test image oh, there you go so I'm going to bring it back now it's there so I'm going to open this image so the size of the JPEG is 2.99 which is slightly more detailed than the on one version yesterday we did which is 1.13 and the DxO photo lab uh, 2.23 close to luminar now time for action so I, I need my both hands so give me one moment I'm going to select all the image so I have, I'm going to take Luminar, then on one, then you know what, even the denoise, why not? But it's too big actually, so it's not fair. Aha, I found the denoise, topaz, and DXO. So, you know what, now that we are here, why not we check all of it? Right, just to announce, what are we? On the top, left corner he had the DxO Photolab 7 using the D prime XD left bottom you have the on one top right you have the old Topaz Denoise AI 2022 version at the bottom we have the current image that we have traded at the Luminar Neo using the Super Sharp AI and the no noise, um, uh, noiseless AI, if I remember correctly. At their highest ISO of 25,600. Right, time to do the pixel peeping. So if you look at globally, they all look quite adequate apart from their each individual color. The denoise, sorry, the topaz, old topaz for an old software looks quite good, has a little bit of red tint. You will see in the video that I, I did some adjustment to match the topaz, sorry, DxO. Uh, just without even going into the detail, DxO is still the king when it comes to noise reduction and sharpening. On one, 
globally looks okay. It's nice and soft, nothing strange going on. Luminar Neo, globally does look all right. Still a little bit of dark. I think I could have added a bit more brightness in order to match the rest of the image, but that's fine. Let's see at least how does it look like in terms of the noise reduction and sharpening. And let's see, I'm going to take off the EXIF. Actually, no, I'm going to keep the EXIF just to help you uh, see the name on the side without me explaining all the time. But at least I can take off the histogram. Take a look at the histogram. So I'm taking it off to have some more place. Right. Probably I can take off the EXIF. We don't need the EXIF. But I'm going to keep the file name though. Now, start with the Apple. Luminar Neo. You know, globally, when you zoom in, Luminar Neo does do have a lot, still have a lot of. It's not. It's not a clean image. Let's be. Let's be honest. It does not look well. It does not look good. It does not look good compared to the rest. It does have a lot of blotchiness, uh, strange artifacts and everything. However, when it comes to detail though, on the Apple, the XO, honestly, you know, kick the shit out of everybody else. That being said, Topaz Dino SAI, the old version, I'm keep, I'm keep repeating that, old version of the Topaz, really, for what it is as an old camera, old software, does a fantastic job. Fantastic. It's just missing a little bit of sharpness. You can see at the at the wood. A little bit of so softness there, but I probably could add a bit more sharpness in the Denoise AI. Probably I could play with the sliders to add some more details. But in the end, it just, I just went with the automatic part of it. On one no noise AI, however, the sharpness is okay. It's not bad. Uh, Apple, it does lose a lot of detail. Luminar does not sacrifice the detail. As a matter of fact, when it comes to the detail, Luminar is as good as the photo lab and topaz but when it comes to noise reduction and sharpening uh, it's just sincerely horrendous but in uh, is it matter does it matter though well if it's just uh, your family photo and you just need to print i honestly don't care because even luminar neo does a fantastic job and that's coming from a guy who shot film so if you look at the film photos None of them are sharp or perfect at any form or matter. Sometimes they're overexposed, sometimes they're underexposed, but in the end of the day, they look all just phenomenal and beautiful just because they are good memories. So if your good memory counts, if it's not extremely overexposed or underexposed, and especially if they are all in focus, perfectly focused, noise or no noise who cares you know is the memory and then that matters because and then when we are going to die which obviously we're going to die your family member is not going to look at the noise or sharpness of the image all they care is you and your presence and your good memories so with that thought i leave you to be the judge of the image quality and take care of yourself bye bye